July 25, Saturday, Feast of St. James, Apostle, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. The mother of the sons of Zebedee approached Jesus with her sons and did him homage, wishing to ask him for something. He said to her, What do you wish? She answered him, Command that these two sons of mine Sit one at your right and the other at your left in your kingdom. Jesus said in reply, Do you not know what you are asking? Can you drink the chalice that I am going to drink? They said to him, We can. He replied, My chalice you will indeed drink. But to sit at my right and at my left, this is not mine to give, but is for those for whom it has been prepared by my father. When the ten heard this, they became indignant at the two brothers. Jesus summoned them and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and the great ones make their authority over them felt. But it shall not be so among you. Rather, whoever wishes to be great among you shall be your servant. Whoever wishes to be first among you shall be your slave. Just so the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord Whoever wishes to be great. The Gospel on this feast of St. James the Apostle is especially revealing it sheds light on three key points. First, it tells us about the disciples. They are ordinary people with raw ambitions. They seek places of honor and privilege that then become jealous of James and John, who move to get ahead. Their earthly ambitions will need profound transformation, conversion. Second, the passage speaks about the meaning of Christian life. To follow Christ means to drink the cup of suffering, self-sacrifice, and service, not just once, but through all of life. It means following Christ wherever that leads us. Finally, the passage sheds light on the person of Jesus. We see his patient kindness toward his blind, ambitious followers. He instructs them that greatness is above all service.